before you throw out that liter of soda in your fridge, listen to this. Recently, Kenny Burgamy took a trip to Statesboro, Georgia, where he found one student and a professor that had an idea to get other students involved with sustainability. In Bullock County on the campus of Georgia Southern University, a group of students recently built a greenhouse. Now that may not sound all that unusual, but the group used plastic beverage bottles to create the structure. Christina Besselin, graduate assistant at the Center for Sustainability at GSU, said it took 52 students to complete the project. We have 1,500 two liter soda bottles, um, and we specifically tried to keep them to white clear bottles only. Uh, there are 140 poles um, and they are garden stakes uh, per the instructions and then the wood is repurposed materials from here on Georgia Southern campus that they had taken down for other projects and they were going to put it in the landfill or get rid of it and we repurposed it into the greenhouse. The greenhouse was the vision of GSU senior Ash Kelly. Well I've always been interested in, this, in sustainability in itself and I'm always looking on the internet for just do-it-yourself projects for the house. But then I came across this on the internet and I was like, well, I don't know if I want to do this by myself. And I know about the Center for Sustainability, so I brought it up to Lisa Leagy. And she actually liked the idea. And then a few weeks later, they were like, hey, we're actually going to do this. So you're, you have no choice but to help. Director of the Center at GSU, Lisa Leagy, said she had one goal in mind. There's a lot of concern. I think among sustainability minded people about what's happening to our resources. It turns out that we throw away 32 million tons of plastic every year in the United States. Uh, in, the, in the U.S. every five minutes we use two million plastic beverage bottles, most of which get thrown away. Only nine percent of plastics are recycled. So the goal of this project is to really raise awareness about the fact that plastic is a valuable resource that can be used again and again and it's not trash and we shouldn't treat it as such. Ash Kelly said he's always looking for ways to get students engaged. What can we do to have people get involved? Give something that they've never done before, something where they can actually use a hammer, use a nail, be together in just kind of like casual environment, not a stressful educational only. You got to have it a leisure mentality. Leagy, a professor of biology, said she always enjoys connecting students with the local farmers. Yes, yeah, so at Center for Sustainability, we, um, we encourage local farmers markets. We've actually brought a campus farmers market um, to our campus. That started four years ago and it has continued throughout. So we work with our local farmers and, and invite them to our campus to sell us their goods. Uh, this greenhouse uh, will be used for an after school garden program with children. Uh, there are five elementary schools in town that we work with uh, for an after school garden program. So we're encouraging those children to understand where their food comes from. So we're teaching them sustainable agriculture principles and teaching them about nutrition while they're growing their food from seed to harvest. 